Hello Outside Lives, um, I'm Ali, a sculpture artist and I run CuriousArty.com um, so please check out my website and social media. So today we're going to make a head full of ideas. Can you fill your head with random acts of kindness, art challenges, ideas, whatever you can think of? You could make this for yourself, uh, for your family, um, or in a classroom or community group setting. If you're young, you're going to need a little bit of help with this. So what do we need? First things we need are two pieces of A4 coloured card, two different colours. Um, I use 160 GSM. It's about the thickness of a Christmas card. You don't want it too thick. So we need two sheets of that and one sheet of coloured paper. All right, Normal thickness, um, any colour. I'm using blue, this is for the tongue, so I'm going to have a blue tongue. Um, if you haven't got any coloured paper, just use white paper and you can decorate it. So that's the first thing. Secondly, really important, we need a bit of recycling. Old Tetra Pack, could be a sort of square one or this kind of rectangular. Um, don't panic if you don't have one of these, All right, it doesn't have to be exact. Um, so you could use any small cardboard box. I made one here from the corner of an, a cereal packet. Have a route around in your cupboards, see what you can find. But essentially any small box. But I'm going to use a Tetra Pack and that's because I'm going to cut the bottom off it um, a little bit later. So we're going to use the, the bottom half of the Tetra Pack. Top half, if you want to keep it you'll find it in another workshop. Next thing we need, scrap paper, a coloured paper, anything um, I cut down. I love old magazines and looking through them and finding lots of different interesting um, patterns. So you don't need to buy fancy, um, you don't need to buy fancy pattern paper. You can find lots of great patterns using recycled um, material. So I tend to have, I have boxes that I keep of bits of scraps, I've got little bits of straw in there, bits of gold, whatever, and these come in really handy when I'm making things. And because of those, um, if you've got any of these, what would be really handy as well is any sort of hole punches or these you know funny kid scissors with the with the wavy edges and things like that they're really handy but don't worry if you haven't um you can just cut shapes shapes out as well by hand so in order to make it what's really handy is a ruler pencil felt tip pen uh, a craft knife if you've got one is very handy if you don't a little um little round head screwdriver or a bradle is handy as well as some really sharp little scissors uh, but I'm just going to use some some big scissors there rubber handy um, glue stick and if you've got some stronger glue as well that is quite handy too first thing I'm going to do is take one of my a4 pieces of card I'm going to use the yellow one and uh, that's going to be my face and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half just like a Christmas card and I want quite a sharp line along the middle there, along the fold. And then when I'm do, done that, um, I'm going to do this in pen just so that you can see this, using the folded side. Um, adults, kids don't always get this, that they have to draw from the folded side, so just check that. I'm going out from the folded side and I'm drawing a kind of half an egg, half a face shape. Once I've done that, I'm going to take my scissors and make sure that folds in the middle so I've done it on the right side and I'm going to cut that out. Keep the um, extra bit for later, it's quite handy. I'm just going to cut off here the, the pen marks because I, I don't really like those. Again, don't worry too much about the shape and also use your imagination. I am doing a, a person shaped face here but you could do a dog, an elephant, an octopus whatever you like. 
Okay, so I've got my face shape, and then what I'm going to do now is um, cut out the mouth. So I'm going to go from the bottom of the face shape up about oh, six centimeters, okay? And then I'm going to come down a centimeter and a half. So six is about the maximum seven. You don't really want the mouth any further up than that. And then what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to make a little dot three centimeters either side. Again, this doesn't have to be too exact. And I'm going to make myself a little mouth shape. And what I'm going to do is fold it and cut that out. I'm going to use the other side. I've got myself a little mouth shape. And this is the bit where the tongue is going to come out when we've finished. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to put that to one side for uh, a moment. And I'm going to make the, the box that goes on the back. This is the sort of little mechanics of it. Um, it's where our tongue sits and that enables us to pull it out there. So that's what we're going to make now. And to do that, we're going to use our Tetra Pack. So I'm going to get my Tetra Pack and I'm going to cut it down 10 centimeters, okay? So in order to do that, I'm going to measure around, blah, blah. So if I make the first line, I'm kind of going to go around the corners, which is going to make my life a bit easier. So then I can just measure the edges there. Now, this is one of the bits we have to be a bit careful about, and this is where we might need some adult help. I am going to use my um, craft knife, which is pretty sharp but it does make the job really easy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to push it in and just carefully go around until I have a nice little bottom of the box. If you don't have a craft knife or that sort of worries you a little bit because it's very sharp, you can do it if you've got some sharp pointed scissors just by sticking them in you can make yourself a little hole and cut round there. It takes a little bit more time, but it's also possible. Okay, so we're going to end up with our um, bottom of the tetra back. It's about 10 centimeters. Again, don't worry too much. That's all right. And we're going to make ourselves a mouth shape on there. So we've gone up. Oh, wrong side. We're going to go up there about three centimeters. I'm going to find the middle of the tetra pack, which is in this case seven centimeters, so that's three and a half. So that's the center of my mouth. And what I'm going to do there, just to measure it accurately, um, I'm going to go about two centimeters either side. I sort of want this to be a little bit smaller than my mouth that I've made. On there so I'm going two centimeters there and a centimeter and a half down. Things to look out for here is to just make sure that you're not drawing it too near to the bottom there. You want to have a little bit of space for your mouth to sort of sit up from the bottom there. So again two ways of doing it here. I normally use a craft knife um, but another way of doing it, if you either don't have that or you're a bit worried by a craft knife, is if you've got a little posy screwdriver or a little braddle, or even the sharp end of a pair of scissors, um, you just sort of carefully make yourself a little hole in the corner there. And then you should be able to get your scissors in there. you can cut all the way around. Don't worry if it ends up a bit sort of jaggedy and not straight and all that, all right? It doesn't matter because we're going to put the face on top of it. Now my face is quite a lot bigger there. Um, so what I'm going to do is just um, 
cut out the corners. Another thing you can do if you sort of if your mouth's got too big and you're a bit worried about the box falling apart or something like that, is you can always you know make a, a sort of coloured extra bit of paper behind there. It doesn't matter. All right. The important thing is. You get your nice face um, that's going to fit over that mouth shape. Okay, there's another couple that I've done here. I see all different shapes. Doesn't matter too much, we're not going to see that. Okay, but we want to make sure the mouth on the box is big enough that the tongue can come out, um, but it's not so big that we're just ending up with a huge hole in the box. So now we can get rid of the sharp knives and um, got my face. I'm going to make the eyes now. So I've just got a bit of scrap white paper there. I'm going to make a fold in it so I can cut my eyes at the same time. Obviously you can do these whatever shape you like, uh, but just to make it easy, I'm going to make kind of egg shapes there. I'm cutting them both out. So that I've got two, two eyes there. And then I am going to get some scrap paper, coloured paper. Again, I'm going to fold it so I can cut them both out at the same time. Pupil eyes. Um, sometimes I do sort of fancy little circles for these eyes and things, but um all you can do as well, just to finish off the eye, little mark in the pupil there. So now um, I can just use my simple glue stick there to stick on my eyes. So now I've got my eyes and what I'm going to do now is make the um, the nose and the eyebrows. Now this is made kind of, it stands up. I really like, uh, I'm a 3D sculptural artist and I like things um, that are not flat all the time basically. Um, so this little nose and eyebrow um, sits up there above the, above the face. So we're going to make that bit now. So I'm going to take my other um, A4 card which in my case is red. So I'm going to have a nice contrast colour to the face. And um, all I need for this one is just half the sheet. So again, I'm going to fold it like a Christmas card, but this time I'm going to cut it in half and I can use the other half for something later. So I've got my half um, of the the card and this time I'm now going to fold it again so I'm going to fold it like a smaller Christmas card again I need a nice quite sharp line there so I've got that sort of little mini Christmas card there and again I'm going to use the folded edge the, the center edge that's the important bit um, because that's how we're going to make our our nose and eyebrows they're all going to be made from one piece so again I'm going to um, draw this in felt normally I would just do it in pencil but just so that you can see and what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to start about two thirds up from the bottom of my my oops the bottom of my Christmas card um, and you have to think that's the bottom of the nose so I'm going to draw half the nose and then I'm going to come up and I'm going to draw half the eyebrow. I'm going to have a nice curvy eyebrow. Um, and it's quite nice at the top here to do a nice little curve on the eyebrow. Now adults and um, kids often find this concept quite tricky to start with so maybe practice on some scrap paper first. Um, a lot of them they sort of draw all the nose and eyebrow or not quite sure about the folding aspect. So it's good learning technique um, but maybe practice on some scrap card first. Okay, so I'm going to now cut out my nose and eyebrow. So I've got the little fold in the middle. I'm just going to cut around there. And I cut out my curve at the top. And then when I open it out, I'm just going to use it that way up so you don't have the pen. 
you've already you can see the 3d effect um, so that's going to stand out from our um, it's going to stand out from our face and you can either have it you know fairly flat down or we're going to make it stand quite proud like that and what I'm going to do before I stick it on is I'm just going to make the top of the eyebrows here I'm just going to cut into them to give them a bit of shape and texture there so you can experiment with a few different uh, a few different uh, eyebrows and things here I've got uh, I've got one here this one I've done something else I've made some shapes at the bottom I've got my eyebrows um, they're going to sit on his nose and um, we're going to sit um, a little bit above that and I'm actually just going to cut just a tiny bit off the bottom of the nose there just so he doesn't go over the mouth like that so you know these things are not exact um, the point of this is to kind of experiment see what works for you um, it's just card and paper so you know experiment with a few different ones see what you like but this is essentially what my little um, my little nose and eyebrows are going to look like so it's quite handy now if you've got the stronger glue um, but don't you know if you haven't if you only got the, the glue stick it will work um, you might just leave, need to leave it to dry for a little bit I'm just going to put a bit of glue on the near the end of my eyebrows and these are the bits I'm just going to carefully stick those down sort of towards the edge of the face there so I'm not sticking down the middle at all because I want to leave that out and I'm just going to experiment a little bit because it doesn't dry straight away this as to how I can make it flatter or make it more pronounced like that um, and normally I would leave this to dry a little bit longer but I'm just going to show you here what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to cut a bit of that off and I'm going to bend it around and that's actually got a bit of glue on it already so it's actually fine again there I'm going to bend it around so you've sort of, sort of got two little tabs on the back there and you've got your nose and your eyebrows at the front so this is when you start getting to use your imagination because we need to decorate it I love <laughs> lots of decoration um, obviously I'm a 3D artist so I like and I also like recycling so I use a lot of um, kind of things that stand up from the face um, little flags little oh, I think we've got some question marks and some hair you might be more into painting and drawing so you could always decorate it like that um, but it's good to give all different kinds of making things a go so have a go um, I'm going to show you a few different ways that I make little easy things to decorate um, it, so as I've said one thing that I use um, is these little um, these little punches which give you some really nice colours um, for your decorating but don't worry if you don't have one of those it doesn't matter there's lots of ways that you can cut um, shapes by yourself as well so I've done here I've done some little strips that we're going to use and we've got some triangles there I've made myself some question marks because it's a head full of ideas so we want uh, to think what, what can we put in it some ideas and I've got some little kind of fringes here um, and some sort of little banners and flags so let's make um, a couple of those so if I get a piece of, uh, this is a bit of old magazine, it's quite nice colours on there. I think I'm just going to make that a little bit narrower. And all I'm going to do here to make my little banner is fold it up like a little concertina. And then right at the end on the last bit, I'm 
going to cut the shape into it. Like that. And then if I just stick down the bottom bit, I get a nice piece of sort of um, shape and texture coming out of the face there. So I've got little fringes that I make. Again, it's just to give texture. Um, so I'm going to use a very thin strip of, um, of sort of old paper here. And this time I'm going to fold it in half. I'm just going to make lots of little thin strips there. And actually I've decided um, that one's a bit too thick for me so I'm going to make two instead. I'm going to cut that in half. What I can also do with the circles or with my other shapes is again if I fold them in half I can then create some shape and shadow on my face like that um, I think I'm going to do one more here's one that I did early for all of those of a certain age and I'm going to make some hair if we look at this one here he's got uh, or it's got um, bits of old magazine writing coming out of his, his head. I think I'm going to make one like this with some nice curly hair. So in order to do that I need um, again some scrap paper and I'm just going to cut the rectangle out of there. find myself a pencil and do the old trick of rolling that up try and keep them nice and tight I get my lovely curly hair I think he's just gonna have some curly hair on the top there for the minute obviously you can go pretty crazy with uh, all your decorations there and um, I think also we could do with some ears um, so let's get some scrap paper again I'm gonna have some oh, how about that quite like that um, so again I'm going to fold this in half it always makes our life easier and we're going to cut a couple of ears out at the same time so we've got ourselves two little ears stick those on you can of course add add lots of decoration onto them as well they don't just have to be flat ears so let's add some more bits on there actually what we can do is curl those fringes as well like that and just keep going <laughs> as much decoration as you like I'm just going to put a bit of decoration on um, on its nose so in order to do that what shall I do here we'll do a little zigzag I think So I've cleared up my uh, workspace because it's always good every so often and um, then you can see what you're doing for the next bit and we're going to make the tongue now um, so the tongue is a really long strip of paper I'm going to make it from one A4 sheet of paper but um, if you're at a school or at home and you have um, sort of bigger bits of paper rolls and things like that and you can make it out of a thin uh, long strip all one piece much better okay because you don't have to stick everything together um, makes life a lot easier 
but um, if you don't have a, a long bit of paper you can do it out of an A4 sheet. So what we're going to do is cut it into strips and um, we've divided the page into three centimeter strips. One, two, three, four. So I've got seven strips there so I measure three centimeters at the bottom, three centimeters at the top, draw a line, divide it all the way across okay and then this is where a guillotine comes in handy but uh, mine's in the other room so I'm just going to cut them down so if you're doing this from one um, large piece of paper um, you just need a strip again about three centimeters long and this actually works out it's about two meters long once you've finished uh, but it, again it it doesn't matter and um, you can make your tongue longer or shorter um, this is just quite a good length to get um, quite a lot of ideas written on at once um, without having to sort of keep changing the tongue so I'm nearly done I end up with seven strips tongue a bit and then what you need to do is um, you're going to glue them all together to make one long strip um, like I've done here so the top tip here is um, you do need to, if you're making it not from one um, long strip if you're doing gluing them together you do need to make sure that these are glued really well um, and that all the edges are glued up so that means both sides um, and it's quite handy to use slightly stronger glue for this one um, that you glue both sides um, because when you're pulling the tongue out of the mouth if you haven't sort of glued it together um, sort of really well his tongue gets stuck on the mouth if you're doing it from, from sort of lots of strips of paper. You don't have that problem if you make it from one long strip. Keep gluing those together. And again, normally I would leave longer, you know, leave these longer to dry, etc, etc. But we'll just uh, get the idea now. Glue, glue, glue. So, three centimetre strip long as you like this is about two uh, meters long and this is what's going to sit inside the little box and make our tongue to pull out this is where we've got to get our thinking heads on because we need lots of um, ideas art challenges acts of kindness or maybe little sport activity whatever you can think of and um, that would be an interesting idea for somebody if they pull um, if they pull this out that that's their idea so for example um, you could give everybody in your family a compliment could be one um, you could sort out and donate your unwanted toys you could make a funny video to send to your friends and family um, smile and say hello to everybody that you meet um, today whatever you like so this is a good idea to maybe um, have a think as a family or if you're in a classroom setting this is great in groups and um, getting people to come up with a whole list of ideas and they can choose um, which ones work for their um, for their um, idea head uh, but of course you know what's going to happen is people are going to um, get these and pull them off and then we're going to need some new ideas so you can either repeat it for the next one or you know think of some new ones um, as you go along so here I'm just going to write one um, I'm just going to write one on here but what I usually do is um, I print them all on one sheet of paper and then cut them out and stick them on um, and then you can sort of see them really well again you've got to be really careful about the gluing though that you do glue it down really well uh, but that's quite a good little project in schools or at home um, practice your computer skills uh, but otherwise 
equally fine you can just write um, write it straight on so you want to write it nice and clearly I'm gonna say here write uh, kind oops kindness poem write a kindness poem so that's my little um little um written bit there and I'm gonna make a a sort of gap a definition before the next one so that that's where they're going to tear it off so we're going to, just going to do that let's see like that. so I'd write another one make a mark write another one till I filled it all the way up on this one here I've got all lots of different ones so I just do that all the way along um, so you could do that all at once or you could have a little think over a few days, write some ideas down. Um, there's lots of ideas on the internet. If you if you put in uh, kindness ideas, random acts of kindness, things like that, lots of ideas come up to give you some, uh, some thoughts um, to start off with, but it's really good to come up with ideas yourself. So this is when we can make... Um, we can put it all together. So I'm going to use the tongue that I've already got because I'm not going to write um, all of them on there now. So I'm going to use the tongue that I've already got, and I've got my um, I've got my box tetra pack bit that I used before. So I'm going to need the strong glue for this one. Um, glue glue gun's also good, and all I'm going to do is put some glue on the front of this, just the front surface. And I'm going to just carefully position my kindness, or sorry, my ideas face over the top there. And if we look at that from the side, there on the back. And you'll see the chin sort of sticks out the bottom. Uh, and that's because... Um, I really like to put these on. Um, let's do that. To put these on shelves, um, so they sort of sit. They sort of sit um, out the bottom there. Uh, and then once we've done that, we can get our um, tongue. And all we do is we put that in the little box at the back, and you slot the tongue out through the front so that's it out through the front and you just have to be a little bit careful that you've rolled it up quite nicely um, so that it can come out smoothly and this is when you probably might want to check your glue joints if it's getting stuck um, just uh, make your glue joints a little bit better on your paper and then the idea is that uh, somebody comes past and they pull it out and they tear it off, tear off the first little strip and that's their idea of the day or the week something um, something uh, something to go and do and um, so that's our ideas head if you're making this in a, in a school setting or a community setting you could also do much bigger versions so instead of using a little little box like this you could use a sort of shoe box size or something like that and make everything a lot bigger and then you could do it um, as groups which is also um, you know it's a nice uh, it's a nice group exercise so I hope you've enjoyed making your ideas box today um, if you make them at home and want to send them send any pictures to outside lives that would be great we always love to see um, what you've been making and remember use your imagination this is just a start off this is what goes on in my head but um, we'd love to see what you do, do with them as well <laughs>